All right, this is an update on my 40 gallon breeder tank. Um, last time I was talking about the startup cost for this tank, but I kind of just want to show you how everything's progressing. Um, so where should I start? I guess we'll start off with the coral. Um, let's see, we got the maze brain. It's doing pretty good. It seems to be growing over that, um, that shell right there uh, so I'll probably get a plate so it could grow on a plate instead of the sand um, next up the zoanthids I noticed when I placed them kind of like on the lower bottom part of your rock structure the polyps seem to extend more so I kind of like that look so I'm gonna keep them there um, oh, I can't forget about the hammer the hammer started off I bought it online it was really hot when I bought it it was like a hundred degrees and it came in kind of with the skeleton exposed so i was kind of nervous i was gonna lose it but it seems to be recovering and doing pretty good all right we got the favia this is a pretty good coral i like the way i placed it um it seems to be expanding quite a bit it's getting puffier too so it's a pretty good sign um we also got the duncans that one and that one that one was uh bleaching in my old tank because i wasn't using rodi water but i brought it back to life and it's starting to grow other heads so it's looking pretty cool um right next to the duncan is a royal grandma no i'm kidding it's a kenya tree i've heard people uh they don't really like this long term because i guess when it grows it kind of like sheds off a seed of it into the water flow and you'll find different baby corals of it kind of like take over a tank so i consider it kind of a pest coral uh let's see next up a monipora i believe this is the encrusting so it should encrust over the rock structure uh one of my favorite corals for sure i want to get the red monipora cap in the near future Something you don't really see too much is kind of like these little sponges. I don't know how I got them, but they're a cool filter feeder of this tank. They're pretty much thriving right now, so I'm pretty impressed. Um, we also got, I'm pretty sure that's a mushroom coral. I'm not quite sure what the, the one behind it is, that orange looking one, but nonetheless, pretty cool. They've been uh, doing really good in my tank. Overall, the tank has been doing pretty well so far i'd say in the future i want to definitely get more coral i want to get a few more sps like the bird's nest and the red monipora uh if there's any coral you'd want to see in this tank uh just let me know and uh i'll start to make a list for which coral i'd like to add next so hopefully you guys could help me pick and choose but enough about the coral, let's talk about the fish. These are our saddlebacks. I don't know, I think I'm gonna name the one on the right Nemo, because no, he just reminds me of him. Even though he doesn't look like him, or the same species, he kinda just reminds me of him. Um, then we got Mr. Stiffy, the Watchman Gobi. He's been doing pretty good. Just been burrowing through the sand. We also have the Sapphire Damsel, one of my favorite damsels. People say they get aggressive in the tank. Um, right now, I really haven't seen it, probably because he's probably only an inch right now. But he's been a model citizen thus far, so I plan on keeping him. He's good with flatworms, I heard, for the, uh, the blue Sapphire Damsels. Um, we also have the Bengai Cardinals, he's been getting pretty big. It's The camera doesn't really do it justice, but he's been getting really big. I've seen a fully grown one at this coral store, and they get huge, even though it's just three inches. But other than that, I can't really find the real grandma right now. So this is pretty much it. Just the beginning of the tank. Uh, I do water changes once a week. I'm testing once a week right now every tuesday and 
you guys want to know my levels uh right now i'm running magnesium at 1400 per the red sea test kit i'm running my alkalinity at eight and i'm running my calcium at around 440 or 450 i believe i have to double check i keep my nitrates at 10 and my phosphates at 0.10 um so right now the weekly water changes have been working in my dosing and now i've only had to dose alkalinity and magnesium calcium seems to be holding on its own so it's good so far but other than that that's about it uh stay tuned if you guys want to see more videos uh leave a comment let me know which core i should get next all right peace